Hello my loves, welcome to my channel Sun Love Stars and welcome to today's pick a card reading. So today's pick a card reading is going to be about your future spouse, okay? So basically, just imagine like in case you have watched my videos before, if not, hello, my name is Cynthia. <laughs> And we're going to look at your future spouse today. So we're basically going to look at what is your future spouse going through? How is he or she feeling? What is happening in their life right now? Um, what are they thinking? Kind of like what is going on in their life basically as if you would, you know, like <laughs> just imagine you would have like a conversation with them on the phone and they would tell you everything that is going on in their life everything that they're thinking, the challenges that they're going through right now, what they're learning right now. That This is basically what we're going to look at. But again, you could like just, I mean, that's basically what you do when you are on, you are on a phone, right? When you talk to somebody on the phone, you basically talk about what you think, what's going on, your challenges, what you've learned, epiphanies and stuff like that. So that's basically what we're going to look at. Okay, we're going to see what is happening with your future spouse. Where is your future spouse at energetically? So guys, this is today's topic i also want to let you guys know that um in today's extended because i'm going to extend this reading um the link is down in the description box in case you are interested i'm going to look at the timing okay guys i usually stay away from timing because i feel like sometimes it is driving us crazy to look at the timing if you know what i mean but anyway i have these cards of time okay Guys, I know I'm about to do like the whole Oracle Tarot deck collection type of video soon, but I have cards of time, meaning that we're going to look at the timing today. Um, so if you are interested in that, if you want to know kind of like what can you expect or what time you can expect, I'm not going to be like 1000% specific because this is a general reading. It's not a personal one. So I'm just going to give you like a time frame, if that makes sense, or spirit is giving you a time frame. Okay, kind of like even to know how much time you have to, I don't know, prepare yourself or I don't know, just like where you can kind of like work with the time frame that spirit is giving you when it comes to you meeting your true love in your future spouse. So if you're interested in the timing and also another thing that we're going to look at in the extended is um, how you are going to feel or in what kind of energy will you be? Um, when you meet your true love and your future spouse. So we're just going to talk or we're just going to look at what kind of energy is around you, what kind of energy is within you, maybe what is happening around you as you are meeting your true love and your future spouse. But again, we're looking at the timing and we're going to look at how you're going to feel around that time or what kind of energy are you in around that time when you meet your true love and your future spouse. If the video is not too long, um, I might also tap into in what kind of energy your future spouse will be as you guys are meeting. But anyway, what the extended is going to be about. So again, you guys already know the link is down in the description box. But again, I don't want to talk too long. Um, we're going to look at what is happening with your future spouse. Where's your future spouse at? What's going on with him? What's going on with her? What's going on with them? Okay, so in the next slip, you can choose between three images and I'm going to see in your reading, guys. Hello my beautiful pal number one, welcome to your reading guys. So if you have not watched the intro, just to give you a heads up, um, 
we're going to look at what is going on with your future spouse and your true love where are they at what is going on with them what are they thinking feeling what is happening in their life what are they dealing with the lessons that they learn um, maybe the epiphanies that they have come to okay so we're basically going to do like an energy check-in with your future spouse what is happening with them but i also want to let you guys know that I'm going to extend this reading the link is down in the description box and we're going to look at timing okay because i have cards that predict timing um, but i'm going to go a little bit deeper into what exactly we're going to do on patreon but basically we're going to look at the timing where you can expect meeting your true love in your future spouse um, just so you can like work with the time frame that spirit is giving you like hey around that time you're going to meet your true love in your future spouse um, but I'm also going to look at what kind of energy you will be in or what kind of how will you feel around the time where you meet your true love and your future spouse but again also like what kind of energy you will be in and if we have time I'm also going to look at what kind of energy will they be in and I also want to let you guys know before we begin <laughs> um, that if you feel like what I'm describing sounds like your situation, it only means that your true love and your future spouse goes through the same thing, maybe just in a different, you know, apartment with different people, different circumstances, but the energy is the same. Okay, so if you feel like, man, this sounds like me, well, <laughs> your future spouse is going through the same thing. Um, so they're basically learning the same lesson as you do. And then once you guys learn the lesson, um, you're basically ready for the union, if that makes sense, okay? So just to let you guys know. So let me see what's happening here. Um, first of all, I want to ask you a question. In case you do come from past future spouse readings, um, first of all, for some of you guys, your birthday is in June, or you had like a huge event happening in June. Um, I'm picking up an energy of something huge happened in june okay so june was a month where something big happened in your life um i'm also picking up the energy where you attended a, a birthday in june if it's not your own birthday it might be the birthday of somebody like you went to somebody's birthday in the month of june or something about the month of june was significant for you like something significant happened in june or it might be your birthday for others of you i've posted a different future spouse reading what was it called um hidden information about your future spouse i think it was hidden information about your future spouse and if you guys remember in case you have chosen this pile um i talked about how june um is the energy of or how june how spirit is highlighting june where you made some type of changes in the month of june something about changing your schedule or getting your sleep schedule like you know like where you um heal your sleeping schedule or you fix your sleeping schedule or something about that there was like a um, change of schedule for example usually you have day shift but now you have night shift or maybe you change departments or maybe there was like a whole career transition in the month of june or you changed again you changed departments or something about where your time schedule was somehow influenced in the month of june or you felt like you want to add something to your time schedule for example you want to start doing pilates i mean we're still in june I'm, i i already think that we are in july i don't know why um maybe uh, in the month of june you come to this realization that you want to um you know like add something to your routine like you want to spend more time manifesting you want to spend more time meditating you want to go to pilates you want to go to the gym um you want to take more time to do self-care there's something about the time schedule that was significant in the last reading um and i feel like it's a continuation or these two piles are um connected in case you do come from the last video the last future spouse reading where it was all about hidden information if you are new <laughs> i would definitely recommend for you to check out the last reading because there might be messages but anyway so june seems to be a very significant month when it comes to your true love and your future spouse um i also pick up an, an energy where they could be a june baby or um this is so funny because I feel like this is where I was already, you know, starting your reading by saying that you both are in the same energy because I feel like your future spouse had a similar epiphany in the month of June. There's something about in the month of June, something significant happens. 
I mean, we're still in June when I posted, um, but in case you watch me a, a later time, um, something significant happened in the uh, life of your future spouse in the month of June, and we're going to look at that, but I just wanted to kind of like connect the dots, okay? So, June was very significant for your true love and your future spouse. Why? Because in the month of June, they decided that they no longer want to they either no longer want to participate in like a negative habit or they no longer let me tell you something the way i feel here with the eight of cups i almost want to say that your true love in your future spouse in the month of june or right here right now i mean we are in the month of june <laughs> i keep forgetting it um with the eight of cups here there's an energy where your future spouse made the decision in the month of june or right here right now as you're watching this to walk away from a particular person in their life um this person seems to be a very manipulative female um i almost want to say like a manipulative um mother a manipulative aunt a manipulative um, sister something about a female family member that they walked away from because we have the devil here and the empress okay um for others of you i also oh man this makes so much sense guys again i would recommend for you to watch in case you did not watch it um, it was pile number one in the last pick a card reading about hidden information about your future spouse but um, it's a female energy, so your future spouse walked away from a female energy, um, possibly in their family. Again, they cut off, like, or they walked away. Maybe they moved out. Um, you know, they no longer want to live with their sister in case they have been living with their sister, or maybe they told their mom, like, because this mother is very manipulative, that they don't, that they need space or time away from their mother. Um, maybe they also had like a very close friend that was female um, but i feel like this person has you know has already been introduced to their family so it almost feels like a family friend or it feels like a person that they know since childhood kind of like your neighbor since childhood and you guys kind of like each other's family like their family knows this person's family or something along those lines okay um, and they basically walked away from this person because they realized that this person is very manipulative and this person is kind of like toxic or where this person's always always like pulling them into messy energy or they have very toxic energy or this person might even like um how do you call it um influence them into drinking smoking doing things that they don't want to do where this person lives a very unhealthy lifestyle and they want to kind of like you know influence your true love and if you're just supposed to doing the same thing okay for a lot of you guys it feels female but it could also be a friend okay it could also be a friend and especially if it's a guy like you you know your future spouse is gonna be male there could also be an energy where um they had a friend in their life that always wanted to go out partying drinking maybe their friend even went to more m more of a maybe they went even to like maybe it was even more than you know the green stuff that they started to do and if this boss was like no um i'm not gonna follow you into this mess like i don't want to have anything to do with it leave me out of this okay now for others of you so this is basically what they're going through right now or they already have done that in the month of june so do you know what i'm hearing i'm hearing a song by tupac and he says something in the lyrics like um um the hennessy what was it he says something like um the hennessy is god save me this hennessy is I don't know he says something like uh, where he's drinking Hennessy and he knows it's taking him away from being connected to God or being connected to the universe so I do feel like your true love and your future spouse is very religious if I already channel that energy and they've noticed that um, certain people like um, lead them in the wrong direction like even spiritually or religiously um, where there's nothing wrong with partying unless it's excessive 
okay, and this person, whoever they walked away from or they are walking away from, was a person that did too much. They spent too much money. They became materialistic where every time your true love in your future spouse is with this person, they, um, your, your true love in your future spouse spends double the amount of money that they actually wanted to spend. Um, every time your future spouse is with that person, they start to eat fast food because this person wants to eat fast food. Does that make sense where two lifestyles don't fit together because your true love in your future spouse is like um craving somewhat of like a i wouldn't say normal but this person was like very extreme like they when they spend money they spend a lot like when they go partying they go partying a lot like when they date they date three people at once does it make sense where this person is just like very extreme and they felt like i want to stay away from this person in case it was a friend and if it was a family member again this was kind of like a manipulative family member that they walked away from um where this manipulative family member again was kind of like seducing this person to do things that they don't want to do or um seducing them to be self-destructive and they notice it like oh my god like i cannot be around this person you know i don't know i feel like they're influence influencing me in the wrong direction every time i i am with them i do things that i don't want to do and i don't know how to say no and stuff like that okay now for others of you again coming back to the reading that I posted about hidden information about your future spouse I also talked about how someone is meeting a false twin flame in the month of June I talked about it I talked about how a lot of people in the month of June there's gonna be a man or a woman that seems to be everything that you want or this false twin flame could be born in the month of June for example you click on this video and it's December um, there could be an energy where you are very smitten or mesmerized by a person and this person is born in the month of June but they could possibly be a false twin flame if you already received um, you know bad omens or red flags around this person this is who I'm talking about okay now for others of you there's something about where your true love and your future spouse is walking away from a false twin flame where they notice like this woman is there's an energy where it's like a, a person again where this person is it is in the connection for the wrong reasons they could be a gold digger they could be an energy vampire and they could be somebody who wants to um, yeah i think did i talk about that because i i sometimes pick up like um cuffing somebody with a pregnancy or will your true love and your future spouse realize like this person is trying to get pregnant or trying to have a child with them even though they don't want that or there could be an energy where again they maybe have like a, a friend or somebody around them and they thought they were just friends like they were cool um but then you know your future spouse is realizing this person actually has feelings and they become jealous and possessive so your future spouse is kind of like um and distancing themselves from that person okay um because they feel like it's unhealthy something about an unhealthy relationship i don't feel like it was a real relationship i almost want to say it was like again a false twin flame where in the beginning they were kind of smitten by this woman or by this man but then they realized i feel like something is off or i don't know something is weird or the energy is weird they might receive a lot of signs like stop stay away from this person again could also be a family member if it's not a false twin flame okay but they have been very and you know the reason it's funny that i said that your true love in your future spouse is religious because we have like a either religious or spiritual or a mixture of both but we have an angel here okay so yeah there could be an energy where your true love in your future spouse again walked away from a manipulative woman in their life let me actually get one more card here it's like this woman was always like um using tears to um using tears or um, acting like a damsel in distress to always lure your true love and your future spouse back into a relationship back into you know like a, a connection you know oh why don't you call me and stuff like that do you know what i mean like i'm being brought to some family member and they're like why don't you call me um and stuff like that and i feel alone or i don't know it's something something manipulative has been going on like they have been realizing like I'm hearing bitch <laughs> okay so they could have realized that someone is kind of like an energy where someone seems to be sweet but they're actually like a, a very the opposite of sweet do you know what I mean like something about where something looks good from the outside but from the inside something is not right that's what it feels like to me here okay um 
for example really beautiful man but like something ain't right with his energy that's what your true love and your future spouse is thinking right now something ain't right with this person you know they might look good you know I saw them the other day they approached me but something ain't right here something I don't I cannot put my finger on it like I'm gonna talk like as if your future spouse would speak or her or his thoughts like something is not right with this person okay again could also be a family member like something about like i know it's family but that doesn't mean like something about toxic family or realizing that mm, a family member in their life is very toxic and they don't want to like don't even i'm also hearing an energy of like don't even uh, use the word family or something about where your true love and your future spouse is very pissed um because this person is like oh but we're family and then <laughs> you know I'm hearing this one song where I'm hearing where was you um, it's by Juicy J um, I don't know what it was called but it, it it basically talks about like where were you when I needed you or where were you when um, when I, I needed help you know and now you want to act like family like I'm not it's nope so your true love and your future spouse is kind of learning the lesson right now that just because someone is family doesn't mean that they're actually family like just because yeah your spirit guides are here or their spirit guides are here just because something says like friend or family on a piece of paper doesn't mean that it's family or friend in the heart does that make sense where they maybe had like a friend of me or something along those lines or that also like i'm also hearing that time doesn't define um how much a connection is worth so you could meet somebody and you have such a strong connection this person's way more trustworthy than a person that you've known 10 years does that make sense something about where time doesn't define um how strong a connection is or family doesn't mean um blood it's sometimes also the family that you choose or something about just because something is written on paper doesn't make it real i'm also hearing the energy doesn't lie like energy doesn't lie i'm being brought to the song stay ready by kendrick lamar and jenny aiko 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 <laughs> i'm gonna put the song in the description box but um she says something well kendrick says something like the universe energy doesn't lie and this chemistry is infinite um had a million times or something along those lines okay and i'm hearing come to me come come to me look at what you've done to me you put a gun to me then you brought the sun to me so i'm also picking up an energy where your true love and your future spouse is learning a lesson like they've went through some type of pain like oh my god like family you know like it's kind of like an energy where you grow up and you think family is like ne would never betray you or would never do something behind your back or would never speak about behind your back and then they grow up and then they see like oh my god like you know um something about where you realize that family doesn't mean family or you know like a friendship of 10 years doesn't mean loyalty does that make sense there's something about where they realize um it's a lot it depends on the person and not on like the 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 how long you know this person or that they're part of your family or um, something about not everything that glitters is gold this is definitely what they have been learning not everything that glitters is gold and you know like um and i'm hearing you know this one quote that says actions speak louder than words i'm hearing energy speaks louder than words okay action speaks louder than words and energy speaks louder than words so they feel like someone has left them in the cold when they really like when they felt completely down when they had nobody the person that they thought would be there for them was not there for them um and they had like a huge realization about you know what true friendship and family is or what true love is what true support is um yeah something along those lines and again that it's not defined by how long you know somebody or how good look somebody looks or how sweet somebody's words are if their actions don't match okay so i do feel like they've been realizing that um I'm hearing they don't want to be dragged into some type of mess like they don't want to be part of some type of messy energy again this could also be a friend this friend is always drinking always in drama and they're like no i don't want to be part of this drama anymore it's not fun i'm hearing it's not fun okay let me see why is the eight of cups here 
Yeah, the Knight of Wands. I feel like there was a person in their life that was very adventurous, but like almost to the point where they became reckless. Like this would be the type of person that is drinking and driving. Um, this is the type of person that is like, um, I don't know, smoking too much, drinking too much. Is um, I'm also hearing hedonistic. I think that's the right word or something about like where they know that a person in their life is very um they seek the thrill they're like i'm hearing adrenaline adrenaline junkies okay something about where they don't there's something about a lifestyle change i almost want to say yeah that's what it feels like to me here because i also feel like you also have gone through a lifestyle change or you have been very strongly thinking about a lifestyle change in the month of june or whenever you're watching me i feel like they realize that they don't want to live this life anymore. Something about they want to become more responsible, they want to make more money, and they want to date better women, better men, and they actually want to fall in love. They don't want to just, you know, like flirt with somebody. They don't want to go to the club all the time, although, you know, there's nothing wrong with going clubbing. But again, this is like a person who's doing too much. So they have been realizing someone is doing too much or they don't align with the values that another person has so they have been kind of like um walking away from this person okay they also have been realizing that this person has been a huge distraction in their life because with the ten of wands for me this almost feels like you want to hold on guys um for me this almost feels like your true love in your future spouse wants to I'm hearing upgrade. I'm hearing, nah, let me upgrade. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so with the Ten of Wands, I love these cards. I want to show it to you. Oh my God, tell me they're not the cutest thing ever. <laughs> um, so with the Ten of Wands, let me tell you something. I feel like what your true love and your future spouse is going through right now, they have been realizing that um, someone's energy has been baggage for them or someone has been distracting them. Let me tell you something. It could even be as far as, you know, um, where they realize, man, you know, if I would not spend so much time with this person, I would not smoke or drink or I would not spend so much money or I wouldn't have these financial problems if I wouldn't spend so much time with this person or something about where um, someone's energy has been really dragging them down and they're realizing if I want to achieve my goals i need to distance myself from this person i cannot get distracted all the time i cannot always be there for this person although they're never there for me or something along those lines or um i also talked about it in a different reading i talked about something about where someone is too codependent this is like the type of person um this would be the type of man your future spouse would be the type of person that is doing all the work for another person does that make sense so something about where they they do the work for other people this could even be like spiritually where they always uplift people but people never never or this particular person is never uplifting them or this person is like your future spouse is always like um you know like being their therapist your future spouse is always there to like motivate them and stuff like that but they just realize that it's kind of like a waste of time because this person always goes back to their old lifestyle um, or this person is like as if they're talking to a wall so they feel like a strong energy with their lifestyle the lifestyle that they wish to have and the lifestyle of a person around them doesn't align anymore um, or they don't want to kind of like um, they want to free themselves from the energy of another person that's what it feels like to me here okay um, yeah, something about like if I want to achieve my goals, I need to start now. So if you just both feel like the energy, like I need to start now. I need to change my life now. I need to start now. Okay, again, we are in June. They feel like I need to start now. Like I cannot get so involved in other people's life and like I cannot be on the phone for three hours every day. Like it, like I need to start now. It's what is what I'm hearing. Okay, so they have this epiphany that they need to start now. Um. They want to finish and complete something. I'm picking up an energy where they want to finish or complete something by the end of this year. Oh yeah, that's what... You know, sometimes I'm just talking and then it's like it, it comes to me, but I I don't necessarily... Uh, anyway, it doesn't <laughs> matter how I channel, but now <clears throat> I was saying it before I saw the fireworks. So this for me does feel like they want to achieve something by the end of this year or something about where they have big plans or something big that they want to achieve by the end of this year 
And again, that's why they feel like they need to be more strict with their energy, their time. And also, do you know what I'm also hearing? I'm hearing the song by... <sighs> it's a YouTube creator. How do you call it? It's like a weird word. Um, he's on YouTube. Uh, he does spiritual content. His name is Foster Ebe. Um, and his he has a song that is called Fifth Dimension. Um... I got my energy, my frequency, on higher vibrations, nothing can limit me, cause good energy is my intentions, I want about a sunrise, hold on, and then he's, he says something about his decisions have to be precise, or something about his decisions have to be like, you know, he cannot just let things slide, they have to be precise, or something along those lines, I feel like if you're just getting very serious about something right now, and that also means that they have to kind of like sacrifice certain things such as a reckless lifestyle or being involved in someone's messy drama, messy energy. They don't want to be part of that anymore. Okay. Yeah, they feel like um, they want to change. They don't want to be this person anymore. I'm hearing I don't want to be this person anymore. Um, you know, something about where they realize they don't want to be this type of person. They don't want to be a people pleaser anymore. They don't want to... They don't just want to sit around, for example. They don't want to just let life happen, okay? There's a lot of realizations that your true love and your future spouse is going through right now. So they have like a huge epiphany about themselves and what they want and what happiness truly means to them. Um, because they have been very confused for a long time, but this confusion also came from this other person, okay? Um, this other person has... has <laughs> You know what I'm hearing? I don't know why I'm hearing so many songs in your reading, but I'm also hearing the song Hustler's Ambition by 50 Cent, and he says something about um, this bitch brings confusion or something along those lines, or I cancel this bitch because she brings confusion. <laughs> okay, or they could also feel like someone is like, again, an energy where they don't want to be around a person that is very bitchy or an um a naysayer or like a where this person is like very negative very bitchy is always complaining and they're like listen i don't want to be in this victim mentality anymore i want to do something about my life like i cannot sit here and complain 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 i need to do something okay so they're realizing like they have to take accountability for their life and they want to do something about it but they could be again like um distancing themselves from somebody who is has not yet learned that lesson okay so i feel like a strong or a big lesson that your true love in your future spouse is learning right now with the five of pentacles is that um i'm hearing time is precious one they could also feel like someone may wasted their time or they wasted their time or they wasted a few years with like literally nothing or they feel like you know they feel like they could have done more with their time if they didn't put so much time into the other person or if they didn't get distracted all the time the five of pentacles in reverse also tells me something about they are learning the lesson right now that they cannot take everybody with them okay because with the three of wands the way i look at it it's kind of like a person who wants to upgrade so they want to go to a different level their energy is rising okay just imagine like where they vibrate on a certain frequency their frequency is going up so now their frequency is going up and the funny thing is you know even the conversation has a vibration so when they go a vibration higher and they want to talk about a con they want to talk about a topic and the other person's vibration is kind of here then they don't understand each other so there could also be a lot of a lot of misunderstandings that they're currently going through because um their energy or the energy of their voice of the conversations that they want to talk about um the other person cannot follow them or the other person um Kind of like an energy where one person is all about like gossiping about other people or talking about women or men all the time and you know your future spouse is kind of like an energy where they want to talk about like i don't know what they the epiphanies that they have or um, what they learned in therapy or you know like they want to talk about like um a child what happened to their childhood in their childhood or something about um, how they feel like themselves again but it's like it doesn't there's something that is not it's not it doesn't mix its oil and water um but again there's also something about where um 
certain people can actually stop you from progressing because like there's an energy where if you just buzz feels like he wants he or she wants to upgrade their life their lifestyle what they eat and stuff like that they really want to you know like go to a different level even in life in their career and they know they have to make sacrifices so they're basically like um letting people go it's kind of like letting baggage go or knowing that certain people cannot follow them where they're going okay so it's kind of like one person says hey you know come let's go drink and smoke and this person's like no i'm not gonna follow you and then if just boss it says hey let's go let's eat healthy and you know i don't know go to therapy together and get mentally healthy and the other person's like no i cannot follow you you see that so i also pick up an energy of unfollowing each other deleting numbers deleting messages or something along those lines okay um this is what your true love and your future spouse is currently learning that time is very precious and that you need to be very careful with i'm also hearing um be very selective with the people that are around you because you become like the people that kind of like you become like the people that you spend the most time with does that make sense so something about where they realize they want to surround themselves with different people um or like a different lifestyle or something about where if these people if these five people were the people around them like something about where they realize it's not i'm hearing it's not working anymore okay they feel like it's not working anymore so that's what they're thinking about but it also makes them feel weird because it's like they maybe have been friends with this person for years they they, they used to have such a good connection to their cousin and now it's kind of gone so they kind of feel like their life is upside down like kind of like oh my god you know like my cousin was my best friend but now i don't have contact with my cousin anymore so i'm without a best friend or um i'm kind of by myself or i'm kind of doing this on my own or something along the sense where your future spouse feels like he or she is kind of like life is upside down um or something about it. i also talked about it in a different reading where you pray for god to change your life but before life becomes amazing it becomes kind of chaotic so they could feel like their life is kind of chaotic right now everything is upside down they could be thinking about do i want to live here do i not want to live here do i want to have this job do i want to go to a different job do, do i want to pursue a different career do i want to stay here do i want to go back to school there's like a lot of thoughts that they have right now thinking about where they actually want to go because what used to make them happy doesn't make them happy anymore and they find happiness in different things is what i'm picking up here let me see um what is pound number one's future spouse finding happiness in right now what is going on and there's about to be a big change in your future spouse's life because we have the wheel of fortune here so they are <laughs> oh my god okay 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 i know where this is going give me a moment guys um wow your future spouse has like a lot this is gonna sound funny but i feel like your future spouse has a lot of fun or they are very invested in mindset kind of like i'm hearing your life is only as good as your mindset or something about where they want to change their mindset and with the moon card they could also be very drawn to um occultism or like dream meaning or something about um let me see yeah something about hidden energy like they they find a lot of fun um exploring like hidden realms or taboo topics hidden things um something about also i'm also hearing like discovering where they feel like they're they're discovering who they truly are um they could also be discovering like a lot of things like music that speaks to them and songs and um books and stuff like that and they're realizing like um that they're very drawn like they're magically drawn to different things like they notice a change in the things that they're drawn to let's see what is pal number one's true love and future spouse so invested in or what brings them happiness right now yeah look at that the moon and the star okay so they could have like a they could find themselves being very very drawn to the cosmos i'm hearing cosmology yeah, I'm hearing cosmology, I'm hearing, do you say astronomy? Astronomy, astrology, um, they could be very drawn to, again, dream interpretation, or this could literally be like where... Ah, 
This could also be an energy where they're like, they want to fully invest into their dream, which they haven't done before. Like, um, they were trying to manifest here and there, but I feel like they're like, um, very focused on it right now. They could also be very focused on spending time in nature or being more connected to God, being more connected to the universe. Um, something about also, again, um, with the moon card, this also talks about the 12th house. Yeah, this is like 11th house and 12th house. So they could be very focused on, um, you know, like, I don't know, getting rest and sleeping enough. Maybe they had like a very bad sleeping schedule, which we talked about before, like in the beginning of your reading. Um, they could be feeling like um, they want to leave the nightlife behind. Um, they could be feeling like, uh, how can I explain that energy? So the 12th house is Pisces. And Pisces energy is all about like isolation. That's where you find uh, gurus isolated in a mountain or in a in a temple. Do you say temple? Um, in re in a religious building, um, they could be very drawn to that type of energy recently. Like again, religion, gospel music, um, ancient scripts, the Bible. Um, they could be very drawn to anything that kind of like isolating themselves a little bit. Um, to find their inner peace um, is what I'm picking up here and the star card is about Aquarius energy which is the 11th house and the 11th house is all about friends yeah that's what it feels like where um, they're also very focused on building their own family because they feel like what they thought was family is not family if that makes sense so they're basically trying to like find their family in different friendships and that's where a big change is about to happen in this person's life so i almost want to say let me get one more yeah the king of pentacles um they could also be very focused on their career right now they could be very focused on it's kind of like you only live once so don't waste time follow your dreams go after your dreams where they audition for um, acting roles they are auditioning for you know like uh, castings they could be you know like really um, trying to manifest like red carpet energy if you know what I mean kind of like where they feel like okay now's the time or never where they go around they you know they're basically like manifesting influential people or they somehow want to make a big change in their career so that's basically what they're trying to manifest like it's very important for them to manifest their dreams right now and to manifest or to reach a huge milestone financially so again there could be an energy where they're like um trying to network with people right now that do the same thing that are interested in the same thing um again they're very focused on not i'm hearing not wasting their life or not wasting their time but again also again i'm picking up an energy of like auditioning they're making music they're filming they are writing they are um going to meetings um i'm hearing they every chance they get to rise to the next level they do take it okay so they put more energy into I don't know going to meetings and group settings to talk to people that do the same thing as them and stuff like that um i'm also hearing something about where they're very focused on um following a guru or following like a, a person like where they have a role model and they're basically studying the role model right now so they could have a role model this is who i really wish to be and they're basically studying this person by reading their um autobiography or by just looking at interviews of this person taking notes listening to their music and like kind of like where they kind of become like the person that they admire um through listening to their songs and feeling the energy of this person is exuding okay this is what your future spouse is drawn to right now now let me tell you something okay with the wheel of fortune your future spouse is about to be very lucky or something about where the wheel is turning in your future spouse's favor because again it says wheel of fortune meaning like they're going to be in a very fortunate position or they're going to feel very blessed and lucky um because of a friendship or this could possibly be you okay so because i already know the timing type of energy this could actually also be you I'm not gonna lie but it could also be that they are about to meet like um, a friend or a person because we have the Cartier handshake okay 
It says a meeting with a stranger could be important. So this is literally where you shake the right person's hands or you are at the right place at the right time to talk to a music producer. You shake this person's hands, you exchange numbers and that's like the beginning of their story of success or something along those lines. Or they meet somebody at a bar um, and this person lives in Greece and that's the beginning of them you know, finding out that they actually want to live in Greece. Does that make sense? Where they meet a very influential person or this person is going to influence this person's life big time. It's going to influence the life of your future spouse big time because because of that person they're going to move, because of that person they're going to change their career, because of that person they are um, going to make a change in lifestyles which is then going to bring you guys together if that makes sense okay so and i didn't i i think i talked about the same thing in the last pick a card reading something about where someone is meeting somebody in the month of june it could even be like a stranger like where you do you know what this reminds me of with the handshake this reminds me of like you're walking around, you're in the city, and then there's this old grandma. And again, it could be literally anything. It could just be somebody that they talk to, like it's the waitress at a bar. And on that day, when your future spouse is at that bar, this waitress says something that is so like, um, it's like sparking something in their soul and their spirit that they start to write a book or whatever. Does that make sense? Where they meet a person that is changing their life because of what they say, because of their energy. And I feel like it has happened in the month of June. Okay, so they met the right person in the month of June. May that be like literally a new friendship or may that be a stranger that happens to be at the right place at the right time to say the exact thing that pound number that your future spouse needed to hear. Okay, that's what it feels like to me here. Okay, because we have the two of cups. This is literally a conversation between two people where they have a very significant conversation that is changing their fate or changing their destiny or um, kind of like is going to be the beginning of a huge chapter in their life. Okay. I'm also, yeah, I'm also picking up an energy where your future spouse has realized that someone in their circle needed to leave and now they found peace like now they feel peaceful with the people that are around them with the two of cups and the four of pentacles kind of like where now the right people are around them and now their energy feels good and now they can achieve and manifest a lot more because this person that was dragging them down energetically or this energy vampire is not in their life anymore okay and now they feel like oh my god my mood is brightened up i'm smiling more i have more energy i feel better something about in case there was some type of like um although i'm not seeing it here but if this person has brought a lot of negative energy into their life they're basically like that this whole negative energy is just gone and they feel very relaxed very calm they feel very very secure okay there could also be an energy where someone someone's presence made them feel insecure but um how can this right describe it but it almost feels like where the other person's energy in their body was very destructive so or Every time your future spouse was with this person, they kind of like, they drag them down with content. Um, how do you say that? Kind of like where this person was in a victim mentality um, or something about where the energy is very like dragging. Like every time you talk to this person, it's like complaining and stuff like that. And once, since they don't, since they're not around this person anymore, they feel more lighthearted. They feel better. They feel more... Yeah, they feel more lighthearted. This is also the reason why their energy is rising. Does that make sense? So they remove themselves from that person and their energy goes up. That's what it feels like to me here. Their energy goes up and because their energy goes up, they start to manifest a lot of a lot more things because you need energy to manifest, right? Um, yeah, seven of swords. Why is the wheel of fortune here? One more. Yeah, the judgment. Wow. I feel like for some of you guys, if you just recently graduated or they recently um, achieved like a huge goal, such as, you know, like they um, manifested a car, they manifested their own apartment. Um, with the judgment card, this could also be graduating or getting their master's degree, graduating. Um, this could also be an energy. This could also be an energy of um, taking a course or a class. So they could be taking a course or a class because of this person that they're meeting. Again, this could also be you. 
because I know the timing already, like the card is already here because I pre-pulled them so it doesn't take too long when I'm on camera. But yeah, your future spouse could um, feel like, oh my god, because of that person I have this idea to um, take this course or take this class and it kind of like changes their life. There is somebody that they're meeting in the month of June or just in general right now as you're watching me that is changing their life. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, the Four of Swords. It's kind of like they are getting rid of an unhealthy person. And so there's a very healthy person coming into their life. And now their health is going up. And I'm also hearing because of their health, their health is going up. It also means their wealth is going up. Or something about where in case your true love and your future spouse had mental health issues, this person is healing them from that. Or something that this person is saying is healing your future spouse from those mental health issues. And it's also going to be the reason why they're going to be ready for the union. Does that make sense? So I almost want to say there is like a person that you don't know of that is actually helping you to meet your true love in your future spouse because they have a very healthy energy. They're, um, wow, we have 4 4. Do we have 4 4 here? No, <laughs> we have 44 here. Um, but with the Two of Cups, this is like a person who's so healthy. Can I also say something? Um, do you know this concept where a person is preparing the other person for the next person? Kind of like where, you know, like when you mm, meet like a, okay, let me say it like that. Okay, because I want to describe the energy that Spirit is showing me. So it's kind of like a man who is a player and then he meets a woman and she teaches him a big lesson that he needs to take his feelings seriously. So she was only in his life. Um, he gets his heart broken by this woman for the first time. But he also learns a lesson about love and that is also the reason why this man is then ready for his actual wife. Does that make sense? That's what it feels like to me here, okay? Something about where there's like a other person that I pick up here. Um, again, it could be a stranger, it could be a friend, it could even be somebody that they meet at a bar or like something along the lines where another person is preparing your future spouse to meet you, okay? Now, it doesn't feel like as what I described because I'm not saying that your true love and your future spouse is in a relationship per se. For a lot of you guys, I don't think they are. Or it was nothing necessarily serious, like where they were sure they're gonna meet and marry this person, and they're gonna move in with this person. I don't see that here necessarily. And even if there were um, conversations about moving in, your true love and your future spouse realized that they don't wanna move in with this person. And again, so they could have gone through a breakup. Um, but for most of you guys, I feel like it was more like family type of energy. Um, but it's kind of like this woman showed him or her or this man showed him or her what she doesn't want and now she's realizing this is who I truly want and then she gets a picture of your energy does that make sense so it's kind of like a person is preparing your true love and your future spouse for you maybe through very harsh lessons where they go through a lot of manipulation through gold diggers and stuff like that or it could be like a person who is just like their wisdom what they say it's like the bartender that is very wise and you talk to this bartender and you have like an aha moment and you go out of like this was like a very significant night in your life that's what it feels like to me here okay i'm also seeing something about where they see their path clearly now does that make sense because if you look at those two cards do you see that that looks like the beginning of the road and that looks like the end of the road okay something about the beginning and the end of the road so they now feel like their path is crystal clear but before that they didn't know what to do does that make sense? So it's kind of like an energy where they now know what to do in order to manifest success in their life. Um, they now know what to do in order to feel that spark in their soul again or to feel that happiness in their soul again because maybe they didn't feel yeah they didn't feel happy for quite some time okay they felt like something was missing they felt like the spark was missing they felt like um there's like an energy that is dragging them down or something is stopping them from being fully happy and they're basically like they have like a clear picture um in which direction they need to go okay let's get one more card and then i'm going to go to the extended guys Okay, why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, look at that. Okay, now there could also be an energy. I'm going to be very, very honest here with you guys, okay? Um, 
Wow, okay, listen to me. There could also be an energy where your true love in your future spouse actually has been with a woman or a man, okay? This was a friend, for example, or a sibling or whatever. And I almost want to say, how can I describe that energy? So I feel like your true love in your future spouse, just imagine your true love in your future spouse wants to reach success in their career somehow, some way. And they have a conversation with this toxic friend. This toxic friend, the way they want to achieve success is very like um, dark, okay? Like the way they want to achieve success, like they would do things that are very like um, questionable. And your future spouse has realized like, wait a minute, there's a different way to manifest success. You don't, I'm hearing you don't have to lose your soul to gain the world, but this person would have lost their soul to gain the world. Does that make sense where they, your future spouse had a conversation with another person and your future spouse was like, okay, let's do it like this, let's do it like that. Kind of like an innocent way or like a pure way or like a God's path, you know, to success. And then the other person was more like, no, let's do it in a shady way, where the other person wanted to walk the shady path. And then your future spouse was like, wait a minute, I don't want to walk the shady path just because of success. Does that make sense where they realized like the other person, like their methods to manifest what they want are very like, is very dark and it's not in alignment with God in the universe and they don't want to, they don't want to do something that they're regretting, okay? Um, for others of you, there could be a strong energy here with the six of wands we have the six of cups here there could also be an energy where for example your true love and your future spouse had a best friend and then um your future spouse uh let's say for example your future spouse had a best friend but then another person came into the picture so they were like a group of three like three people but um their best friend their initial best friend was a very smart man very kind very smart woman very kind woman and then the third person was kind of like a snake so this third person kind of like tried to separate your future spouse from their best friend and so they kind of like um, lost themselves a little bit because they kind of lost the friendship with this person but it was like a the, the the reason was a third person like a third person wanted to put a wedge between your future spouse and their best friend although their best friend is actually like very healthy for them so there could be an energy where they are reuniting with a person in the past that they were destined to be friends with this person okay so they were destined to be friends with this person and because they are walking away from some somebody toxic they're coming back to this person that they were destined to be friends with does that make sense and somehow this friend one day is going to say hey let's go there um, you, one day this friend is going to say to your future spouse, hey, let's go to this coffee shop. And on that day you meet your true love and your future spouse. But who initiated it was kind of like a, a, a third person. Does that make sense? Um, so they could be reuniting with a person from the past that they walked away from because of another person that was toxic or like a toxic um, family dynamic where they're... I don't know their brother said stay away from this person they're not good for you when the when their brother was the toxic one and not the friend okay or even the other way around it could also be the other way around okay where they were distancing themselves from family because of like a manipulative person in their life and they're basically like reuniting with their family that's what it feels like to me here okay um and I also feel like they do want to actually manifest you, okay? So I do feel like for some of you guys, your true love and your future spouse is actually, actually wants to manifest love. And they have been trying to manifest love, but something has been stopping them. And again, they're removing this negative energy out of their life. And now they're going to be successful at manifesting you, if that makes sense. Okay, because we have the six of cups here or they're finally like i'm also hearing where they are around the right people or they are around the people that are going to bring them to success instead of dragging them down into some type of mess <laughs> did it sound like a poem oh my god one more they could also be reaching their fitness goals right now because they're not getting tempted anymore by another person's seduction or whatever one more why is the six of wands here yeah, two of pentacles. Um, there could be an energy where they're going to bring their idea together with another person and it's going to be an absolute success, okay? 
so there could be like two business ideas coming together to like two people coming together to work on something you know it looks like a vision board in the background okay where they they start to have like kind of like business meetings or like meetings let's do a mind map together where they achieve like um fitness goals with their friend that they reunited with or with this new friend excuse me that they are about to meet so they're reaching fitness goals together they're putting businesses together um they maybe possibly even move in with this person like they become new roommates together and stuff like that okay um something along those lines yeah, but they're basically like connecting to the right people now and somehow somehow these people are gonna lead them to you or their energy is gonna be so healthy that they are that their energy to manifest is way bigger than it was before because their light was dimmed in the past by this particular person that they have been around okay yeah for some of you guys it could be actually reuniting with a family member after they cut off um, a toxic friend or something along those lines okay anyway pound number one i'm gonna go to the extended now we're gonna look at the timing <laughs> so if you're interested in that also kind of like in what kind of energy you will be in um once you meet your true love or as you are meeting your true love in your future spouse so if you are interested in that the link is done in the description box and if not i'm gonna see you in my next one and i wish you a lovely day bye hello my lovely pal number three welcome to your reading guys <laughs> so as you can tell by the title we're going to look at we're basically going to do an energy check-in with your true love in your future spouse what is he or she feeling thinking where are they at um what is happening in their life what epiphanies are they or conclusions are they coming to um what are they learning right now in their life okay so we're basically doing like an energy check in what is happening with your true love and your future spouse if you feel like it sounds like you um if it feels it, if you feel like it sounds like you it is because your true love and your future spouse you are most likely it's kind of like a two birds of the same feather flock together so that means you somehow share like a similar energy okay so if it sounds like you it means your future spouse goes through the same thing as you just with different people different circumstances in a different apartment in a different i don't know country city whatever whoever okay but the core energy could be significant or it could be significant it could be the same or very similar um and I also want you guys to know this is gonna this reading is gonna have an extended and we're gonna look at the timing when you will meet your true love in your future spouse. So if you are interested in finding out the timing, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about um, how I want you guys to work with this information. Um, you can go on Google, <laughs> you can find the extended in the description box. Um, but we're basically going to look at the timing and also in what kind of energy you're going to be in. So you meet your true love in your future spouse, okay? Um, or basically what is happening in your life or, yeah, basically the energy. Like what kind of energy is in your body, in your mind, um, in your life as you meet this person. So the link is down in the description box, okay? Let's begin your reading, guys. Let me see what's happening here. Do you know what I heard first when I was looking at the cards? I heard um, social media addiction. Okay, and I also heard like um, they, your true love and your future spouse might. Uh, I'm very sorry if that is the case, but your true love and your future spouse might have like lost somebody recently. But I'm talking about to the other side. Could be a pet, um, could be somebody in their life that they recently lost they so there could be an energy where they're basically like still mourning the loss of somebody because yeah i'm being brought to the song i miss you by dmx and it's about him missing his grandma um yeah so they could have lost like a grandma a grandpa um you know somebody that they were close to and they're still mourning the loss so they're still crying sometimes about it um, they're still basically like trying to heal from this loss could also be a family member um, this could even be like where they lost their job or maybe they lost a friend but let me see because we have the ten of swords here and the reason why I say like 
this could be somebody that departed on the other to the other side is because we have someone is leaving your life and we also have money or property through an inheritance and you only get an inheritance when somebody you know goes to the other side right so i do feel like they recently lost somebody that was close to them again this could be like an animal or somebody that they were very close to yeah because i'm seeing angel wings here okay so this does feel like a it does feel like that kind of energy um but let me see um, i'm also hearing something about i'm gonna be very blunt here with you guys okay um i'm hearing something about a social media addiction but i'm also hearing something about a p-o-r-n addiction okay um where they made the decision that this is not who they are and they don't want to be this type of person and they're going to fight against this addiction um may that be social media for some of you guys i do feel like something about where they feel like they have a social media addiction or they um they need to get off the internet or something about where the internet is not um healthy for them for example twitter there's too much shade shady energy on twitter they don't want to be on twitter anymore they could be like deleting their um they could be deleting their accounts or taking the pictures off or putting their account on private. Um, they could be feeling like they want to spend more time like in nature because they it's like an yeah I'm hearing an energy of like where they don't want to live in the virtual world they want to live in the real world or um, something about where I'm seeing them spending a lot of time close to i'm seeing them spending a lot of time close to a body of water okay because we have here the queen of cups and she's close to a body of water and then we also have here the boat okay so they could be very much drawn to like a i'm picking up an energy where they have a place that they go to to heal okay so this could be a park this could be a garden this could be a lake a pond they always go there to heal or they always go there to kind of like um clear their mind um is what i'm picking up here and they're basically ready to let go of an addiction um this could also be an sex addiction this could be an addiction to smoking whatever it is let me actually see what kind of addiction was that or if they do go through and i'm seeing that they're going to be successful to let you guys know okay um what is this addiction about here that i'm picking up the star yeah okay i feel like they could have been very addicted to like watching something okay or they noticed that they watch too much written trash tv reality tv um because with the telescope for me this feels like for others of you there could also be like a, an addiction to tarot readings i'm going to be very honest i don't know if your future spouse is watching tarot readings it could be but they could be noticing that they let astrology and tarot <laughs> that was a weird pronunciation they let astrology and tarot like di dictate their life too much so they stop watching tarot they stop watching astrology or they're kind of like limiting what they watch and who they watch and stuff like that yeah there's something about like certain people that they don't want to watch anymore or something that they don't want to watch anymore or something is like toxic or um <clears throat> again where they where they let the stars dictate too much what is happening in their life but again almost to the point where they're addicted to astrology to roll um what is this addiction about that i'm picking up here let me see what is this addiction about that i pick up here eight of pentacles oh they could also be a workaholic where they know they work too much they could be they could be actually like a, a workaholic and they notice that it is actually bringing a lot of chaos into their life because they're working too much i'm also hearing hmm one more what is this addiction about that i pick up here the moon yeah um I also pick up an energy here like being addicted to the nightlife or 
an addiction. It's not an addiction. They could also be addicted to some type of food and they don't like they don't want to eat fast food anymore and it could be really it doesn't have to be it sounds very like dramatic when i say it's an addiction it could be like being addicted to soda do you know what i mean like being addicted to soda or um being addicted to sugar being addicted to fast food um they could be going through something like that and they're like no i'm done with this bullshit i'm done with my own bullshit i'm done with the excuses i'm not i'm no longer gonna do that for those of you, it is an addiction to um, work where they know that they work too much or they work a lot to the point where um, it's like too much work and no play. Um, and I feel like they're like having like a... <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? I wish I had this meme. Oh man, if I can find it, I'm going to put it somewhere here. But there's this one meme <laughs> where it's like, it's like a, a black lady and she's like in the picture multiple times and the caption says me when i try to get my life together and it's like she is holding the presentation but to herself like she's the one that is sitting but she's also the one that is holding like the sheet of paper presenting like no we need to stop this bullshit so they could be in an energy i'm hearing check yourself before you wreck yourself and i'm also hearing you can do it put your back into it i don't know why i'm channeling so much music today um but yeah they feel like um they don't want to have excuses anymore they feel like they're bullshitting themselves they feel like they're sabotaging themselves so they're like no um i don't want to do this anymore i'm done with my own bullshit i'm done with my excuses um there's no excuse as to why i'm doing this and i i don't want to do that anymore like my life could look like this and my life could look like that and i know my life is going to look better if i let this go okay um i'm also picking up an energy of a false sense of confidence because with the nine of pentacles in reverse this to me feels like where your true love in your future spouse also has the realization that they were that they were not really confident like they always thought they are a confident individual but they're now realizing that they're your future spouse has a lot of like reality checks or a lot of like um looking yourself i'm hearing looking at the man in the mirror this is literally what i'm hearing looking at the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror where they realize that they they cannot just feel confident because of like a um a watch or do you know what i mean like where they feel like um they feel like they're not listen to me i feel like they have been faking that they're confident for years but they're realizing they don't want to fake it anymore they actually really want to feel confident okay so they don't want to fake being confident they actually want to be confident or not just they don't they don't just want to betray being con portray <laughs> they don't just want to portray being confident they actually want to be confident so there's a strong emphasis on focusing on their confidence right now what actually brings them confidence okay they could be going back to the gym they could be starting to develop hobbies again or to go back to a hobby that they had in the past kind of like an energy where you lose yourself a little bit through you know being alive and you know sometimes our soul and our spirit also does collect dust um because of the years that we live upon planet earth and then we kind of like you know have to return to certain things so they could be returning to like old hobbies um, they could be like looking at how they would they used to be a very happy individual and i feel like their life changed to like where they almost catch themselves being sad or not so happy so they're like looking back at okay what brought me happiness in the past and i feel like they're getting back to that energy here okay they could also be an energy where they're practicing a lot of spirituality right now because we have the temperance here twice okay they could be feeling like um they want to go to massages right now they want to do like relaxing breathing how do you say that breath work meditation um they want to go back to church again they want to pray again or they're really focused on that right now because um they feel like they kind of lost themselves somehow some way i don't know why um there could also be an energy where yeah it's like an energy how can i explain that energy yeah, it does feel like where they only lived 
like on social media or something like their whole life was social media or their whole life was like um they it's like an energy where their whole life was just one thing like their whole personality was just like the weekend like nightlife on the weekend and now that they don't want to do that anymore they have to ask themselves well then who am i you know i don't identify with that anymore this is not me anymore than who am i like who am i <laughs> I'm being brought to the Lion King. The question is, who are you? And I'm also being brought to Kung Fu Panda. You guys know that I know that I love Kung Fu Panda. And do you know what I'm specifically seeing? Um, it's the first part of Kung Fu Panda, in case you don't know. Um, po is the panda that becomes the dragon warrior. Um, and it almost feels like he used to, because he used to work in his kitchen with his mom, um, so he always thought his destiny was like um, cooking noodles <laughs> and then come to find out he was supposed to be the dragon warrior so there could be an energy where their purpose is being revealed to them right now okay um, and it could be a little bit bigger than they thought kind of like where they were living a small life but spirit has um, a big plan for them or like a big life or like a big mission for them okay and when I say big this could literally be like I don't know having their own um diving school in a different country or like i don't know living in a different country so it doesn't always have to be like money and wealth and stuff like that but big destiny could also be living in on a different continent or i don't know like taking care of elephants in africa do you know what i mean it doesn't have to be like it's different or like cleaning the ocean i don't know um or they could be an energy where they want to make a change in their community something along those lines okay that's my train of thought guys so yeah basically they're redefining who they truly are like they are on a self-discovery journey right now like who am i <laughs> oh yeah coming back to poe so i'm seeing like the scene where poe is fighting this villain in the movie and there was a scroll for the dragon warrior and the scroll is like the secret ingredient to have all the power in the world or something about to become the strongest warrior you need to know what is written in the scroll and in case you have not watched it but if you did watch it or you know kung fu panda um, there was nothing in the scroll there was nothing in the scroll so it was like oh my god you know like it was like a legend that the dragon warrior is gonna open the scroll and he's gonna be like the strongest warrior and the strongest like master in um in the history of kung fu um but the scroll there was literally nothing and then po was like oh my god how am i going to you know fight the villain when i when i don't know who i am or what i'm supposed to do and then po had a conversation with his dad and then his dad said, you know what, I'm going to share the secret to you that makes the noodles so special, the secret ingredient. And then <laughs> it was a duck. Um, his, his dad said, because the duck, like his dad adopted him, but he's a duck so, <laughs> and he's a panda. So the duck said, um, there is no secret ingredient. And then Poe was like, what? There's no secret ingredient? Like what makes the noodle soup so special? And then the duck said, um, the secret ingredient is love. <laughs> it's so cute. I love this movie scene. But then Poe realized that something becomes special because you decided decide that it is special okay something becomes special because you decide that it is special so when he was opening the scroll he saw his reflection the scroll was showing his reflection of his face and then he realized um again the power is in believing that you're special or that you have a special destiny um is what makes all the difference or that the secret ingredient is love okay so they could come to the conclusion that all their life they have been thinking they want money, a house, a huge car, and this and that and this and that, and there's nothing wrong with wanting all of these things, but they're realizing that maybe they could also have a realization that they're ready to fall in love. I'm going to be very honest, okay, because um, I already have the timing card here, so I already know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so they could have the realization that they want to fall in love, or that they want to, you know, like open their heart up to love. Um, 
is what I'm picking up here. I'm also hearing something about let God in. Something about let God in or something about let this person in or let love in is what I'm picking up here. Okay, so I'm seeing them fantasizing about what it would be like to be truly in love. They could feel like they've never been in love before or they could feel like the relationships that they've been in, they... They were not really in love it was just like maybe puppy love or um it was just puppy love or it was just like a crush or it was just like drawn being drawn to this person's body or just being drawn to this person's like hot and cold where you know like this chasing chasing game and you know once the chasing game stops you also are not attracted to this person anymore there's something happening here where they realized that um, maybe past relationships, like they were romanticizing past relationships and they were not even it. I'm hearing something about where they realized that they have never really been in love, like not as much as they would want to, or they have been in love once and they lost this person. So now they're like, now they know what love feels like. So does it make sense where they know they, they met somebody in their life, maybe when they were in elementary school? And that was the only time where they were in love. So they remember the feeling and now they compare it to any other conversation, relationship, and it, it's, it's not the same thing. So they're realizing, you know, like past relationships, they were just lust. You know, when you, when you ask the question, is it love or is it lust? So they realized that a lot, of, um, a lot of connections that they had in the past were just lust or just the thrill of chasing and running away like the runner and the chaser. Um, and they're realizing that it was not really true love because they know what it feels like because of a person that they were in love with in the past or because of like a, a particular person that it was in their past that made them realize, oh, so that's what love is. So this is love. Mm -hmm. So this is love. <laughs> okay. So again, I feel like they do feel tied down or frustrated with the yoke. But I almost want to say they could have like a... They could feel like shit right now because again, they're like beating an addiction. Um, or they could be like going cold turkey on something. And that's why they feel like moody or shitty or something along those lines. Okay. Um... There could be an energy with the someone is leaving your life where let me actually see again for some of you guys they could have just lost somebody recently what why is the chair empty here wow okay i talked about that in pile number one as well listen Power number two. I feel like your true love and your future spouse, they were in love before once with only one person, but basically they were not destined to marry this person and be with this person, but this person was meant to teach them what love is so that they are ready to meet you. And I said the same thing in pile number one, where there was another person that prepared your true love and your future spouse to meet you. That's what it feels like to me here. They were deeply in love with another person, but it was like wrong place, wrong timing, wrong this, wrong that. But I know because Spirit is telling me these these two people, they were not they were meant to fall in love, but they were not meant to stay together. Because this person prepared your future spouse to meet you. This is literally what I'm hearing. For others of you, they... Again, it's something about losing somebody because this person departed. Why is the chair empty here? Someone is leaving your life. I'm also thinking they could have lost their best friend. I don't know what this means. Because we have the king and the queen of cups. For me, this is also like a best friend energy. Um... Why is the chair empty here? What's going on? Why is the chair empty here? What's going on? Okay, we have the five. Yeah, look at that, guys. I cannot make this up. Let, let, let me show it to you. What do you see here? So basically, like, hold on. I don't know what is what. Um, on this side, I believe, um, there's the spirit of this departed person. Do you see that? 
this person's crying and then next to them is the person that they lost so again i feel like this person may that be a love situation that they have been with this person was a guide to guide them to true love and to guide them to you they were meant to fall in love but they were not meant to stay together you they were supposed to learn what love is with this person but they were not meant to be with this person and they were meant to be with you so i pick up like an energy here where um your future spouse is coming in contact with a guide. For some of you guys, I feel like your future spouse is also having spiritual, supernatural encounters where they notice that they ask a question and the universe is responding. So they could be in a strong connection with the universe and with God right now because they notice that when they think about something, when they ask a question that someone is responding. So there could be an energy where a departed loved one in heaven from their family or something along those lines it's kind of like they're talking to the other side does that make sense because the spirit is giving answers to your true love and your future spouse right now and fathers of you they feel like they have conversations with god they have conversations with the universe right now um what else have i seen here can i be honest with you guys i almost want to say where your true love and your future spouse has the epiphany that um they wish for true love but they also feel like there's something that they need to achieve or do or overcome before they um before they make their imagination reality which is meeting you or looking for you or making themselves available they feel like they have to work on something they ha they have to work on their confidence they have to work on maybe their financial situation um they have to work on something here what do they have to work on okay because we have here kangaroo it says unsettled times need to plan ahead so there's almost this energy where your future spouse is planning to be ready for you does that make sense where they feel like no i need to do this i need to do that i need to do this i need to do that before i feel comfortable enough so in their mind they are ready to fall in love but maybe their circumstances are not ready does that make sense so they're making their circumstances ready so that they can finally like fulfill their wish to um, meet you put them put themselves out there um to manifest you okay this could also be somebody who does manifest but they manifest other stuff before they manifest you if that makes sense okay um, yeah, because we have both here. It says money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So I feel like they're currently manifesting money or they're manifesting a property. Maybe they want to manifest their own house, their own car. Uh, they want to manifest um, enough money for them to feel financially happy and stable. Um, but they're doing that in the back of their mind. They're doing that because they know that's something that they have to do before they... Um, focus on romance and love is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, is there anything else? What is pile number two's true love and future spouse going through right now? What is happening? Okay, the lesson that they're currently learning is I'm hearing that it that they de look at that. Okay, we talk about um, and also for others of you, if it doesn't have anything to do with money, it has something to do with again beating this addiction whatever the heck it is i don't know or something about where they feel very insecure about something about a particular body part um about like i don't know the way that they dress or i don't know like their small ears where they feel very insecure and they know that if they would feel more confident that they would feel ready to date and meet people but they feel insecure about something okay so they could be fixing something that they feel insecure about is what i'm picking up here um, but with the two of ones, there's something about the lesson that your future spouse is learning right now is that I'm hearing <laughs> Why am I hearing that there's something about? Um, it's in your hands or you decide we talked about it right when you decide that something is special So there could be an energy where they have been listening too much to other people They have been listening to tarot readings astrology where they didn't take matters into their own hands or maybe 
for some of you guys, there could even be an energy where they have been listening too much to their mom or their dad or their brother or their sister and they realize, no, I need to like make my own decisions. I need to, you know, form my own opinion or something along those lines, okay? Because I feel like they almost had like a role model in their life and um, they realize that they are, again, we talk about it, an addiction where they are addicted to um, always making the, how can I say that? It's kind of like an energy where you always watch somebody, um, but it, it 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 becomes unhealthy because you de you cannot make decisions on your own unless you consult this person. So they realize no, that is not healthy. Sometimes it's good to get you know advice and inspiration from a person, but I cannot depend on it. So they have been noticing that they depend on another person's opinion way too much. Um, and they don't want to do that anymore so they're coming like back to being an individual or making their own decisions and this is what i'm picking up here it's kind of like where they realize it's in their own hands how something is going or something about where they feel like they should they should decide what is going to happen with their life and not another person or not society even okay is what I'm picking up here. So their lesson right now is that I'm also hearing your actions determine your future. Okay, so they could feel like, um, <clears throat> let me see, why is the two of wands here? Yeah, the star, it came, comes up everywhere. So I'm picking up an energy where they realize the right path from the wrong path. Or they could feel like they have been on the wrong path for quite some time. So they're kind of like realigning and coming back to the right path. And then they're going to be ready to meet you. Because again, instead of being an individual, they were like a we. It's not, it was not an I, it was a we. Or it was not like a I make decisions that come from my soul. No, they made decisions because of astrology. Does that make sense where it was too... It was it had too much weight in their life where they stopped being spontaneous or they stopped doing what they think is right and they started to listen to other people and then their life got out of hands or there was a lot of chaos that came into their life because they took on everybody's opinion and then it became like a, I'm hearing too many cooks spoil the broth. Why is the two of ones here? One more. Yeah. Okay. I'm hearing this song by Kid Cudi. I'm going to put it down in the description box. It's uh, The song is called New Mode and he sings something about And I'm in a new mode. And then he says something about I learned that it's time for me to love myself or something. Because with the Empress and the Star card, I'm hearing And I'm in a new mode. Been searching for so long to another level. I found some peace within or something about um, I learned that I don't know I cannot sing the lyrics right now I'm gonna put it down in the description box so if you want to know how they feel listen to the song in the description box but they feel like um, they feel like they need to make decisions on their own and they feel like it's time for them to love themselves um, or to be proud of themselves or to achieve something that they will be proud of or again to come back to a top-notch self-care because they kind of got lost in the sauce they used to be somebody who practiced a lot of self-care they kind of stopped doing it and then their life became a chaos so they're coming back to self-care is what i'm picking up here or something about that they find themselves beautiful so they might also not find again we talk about it right Something about how much you miss out on if you don't feel comfortable in who you are or what you look like. So, or in who you are as a person. Okay, so I feel like they're basically like having a relationship with themselves. Which is like, it, it's very interesting that I'm hearing that something about where they have a relationship with themselves. They talk to themselves. They have a relationship with themselves. They hype themselves up in the mirror. Um... They come to conclusions by themselves. Uh, 
they find out what their style is, what they find looks good on them, when they find themselves handsome, when they find themselves ugly, you know, kind of like looking okay, that's not, I feel ugly in this, now I feel good in this, no, this is really like top notch, this makes me feel like a Don Juan, you know, this makes me feel like a Bella Donna, <laughs> so they're basically like realizing all of that stuff, okay, um, yeah, because I feel like they know that they want you or they want a connection, they want love, they want this, they want that, but if they feel like um, they are standing in their own way and they're basically like, instead of staying in their own way, they're becoming their best friend that is cheering them on so that the path is clear for you guys to meet, okay? Pile number two, I also feel like an energy where maybe your true love and your future spouse always has been in a crowd or they always have been in like a big friend circle in a big group or they always have been around family for example like a you know a child that um grew up with like i don't know five siblings so you guys know what i mean kind of like an energy where you always have been around people um they've always been around their siblings they've always been like in big crowds or um you know family was very important in their life so they were always like um could be the reason why they feel like they want to be more by themselves or they want to be a little bit more for themselves so i pick up an energy where i feel like they always looked up to their bigger brother or their bigger sister there was somebody that they looked up to maybe even a cousin there was somebody that they always looked up to and i feel like maybe they had a fallout with this person or something has happened or there's something about where someone leaving this person's life made them realize that um they have to kind of like find out who they are and i feel like they really enjoy their alone time right now because again i feel like this is a person who always has been around people grew up in a big family um, maybe their teenage years their adult years you know like early 20s they've always been with a lot of people maybe they also had quite a few like dating experiences they've been going on dates with people and stuff like that and they feel like you know what i never spent time or i never spend time with myself or i never sit with myself so this is a person who's actually realizing that wow do you know what this feels like to me this is a person who's realizing that they cannot be by themselves and they say oh my god that's a problem all those years i have been with other people i've never been by myself that's a problem and that's why i like your true love and your future spouse because instead of just giving in to this flaw because it's kind of like an energy where they realize their flaws but not in a way where they are too self-critical i feel like their criticism on themselves is very valid so they could realize that um they have a problem or they had because again i feel like they're like healing a lot of those things where now they feel comfortable being alone by themselves when maybe like a few months ago it was very uncomfortable for them or there's something about a strong sense of independence where instead of always having a role model they're actually becoming their own role model or they're looking into the mirror and asking themselves what kind of men or women do i want to be you know um yeah and i feel like they're spending a lot of time by themselves to be honest with you guys but it's kind of like a realization that they never do that and kind of like they want to know who they are or something about where they really need time away from people because they always have been around people and they really just kind of like they enjoy i'm hearing they're enjoying their solitude and they're enjoy enjoying their alone time in their isolation because again let's say for example the last 10 years they've always been around people every weekend you know um no time off never being by themselves always had roommates and stuff like that you know now with the full card there's definitely an energy <laughs> we talked about it the new mode energy by kit Cuddy. so let me see can you clarify the full card here what is that about <clears throat> okay so i almost want to say with the full card the six of cups and the lovers <laughs> Um, guys, I already know what is coming in the extended. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything to you guys, but there's a little twist. I'm going to be very honest. There's a little twist um, because I pick up an energy here where they become... I talked about how they met somebody in their past that made them realize they want to be a better woman or they want to be a better man. 
Um, <laughs> and again, there's a little twist. I'm not going to reveal it here. Um, if you want to know what it is about, um, go to Patreon. <laughs> um, but yeah, they pick pick up an energy here where I do feel like there was like a friendship which I talked about in part number one as well so I feel like there's a new connection in their life okay so first of all I pick up an energy here where there could be a new connection that is very near and dear to them right now um I pick up an energy here where maybe they like to spend more time with family than with friends for example or instead of going out um, every weekend they like to spend time with their niece, their nephew, their mom, their dad, you know, where they feel like they want to be spending time with their family. Um, because maybe they have been, if it's not like they have been always around family, they have been around friends for years and they feel like they've neglected their family. So they want to be around their family or they want to be around their mom, their dad, their brother, their sister or spend more time with their family others of you i'm literally seeing them getting ready to go out on the dating scene again um kind of like getting new clothing <laughs> um you know getting their body i'm hearing um i'm better and back in shape so they could be trying to get back in shape before they go out on the dating scene again i'm gonna be very honest here um yeah, and I feel like they're taking, they might also be taking care of somebody that is very vulnerable right now. For example, they know their mom is going through something and they're there for their mom right now. So they're definitely a shoulder to cry on for somebody in their life right now. Let's get one last card here, guys. What is power number two's future spouse going through right now? What's happening in power number two's future spouse's life? Eight of Wands. And we have the justice here. One more. They think a lot about relationship and love and marriage. I'm going to be very honest. They just feel like they have to get a few more things done. Just imagine that's the suitcase. So just imagine the airport is them meeting you. And they feel like, no, I have to pack some stuff in my suitcase before I get to the airport. Okay now again there is a little twist okay but i think i want to talk about that on patreon because it's going to make more sense i feel like your future spouse wants to stay away from drama maybe they have been very much involved with a lot of drama in the past because the six of swords comes from the five of swords and the five of swords is always like very a lot of fights a lot of like i don't know competition and stuff like that and with the six of swords it's kind of like calmer waters where they want a ca calmer lifestyle because maybe their lifestyle before was very wild very hectic um for example i'm just going to give you one example they have been drinking energy drinks for years and they've realized oh my god you know like my body cannot take it anymore my heart is racing i have to do something about it then they realize oh my god i'm addicted to energy drinks does that make sense so they're trying to live a calmer lifestyle giving up energy drinks and stuff like that and maybe it's like it sounds like a little thing but for them it's big because they have been drinking that for years some of you guys they could also be traveling <laughs> Oh my god, this is so fucking funny. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. So they could also be traveling. I almost want to say they could be traveling to meet family right now that lives abroad. Um, they could be also going on solo trips is what I'm picking up here. They could definitely be going on solo trips. And again, it's gonna make sense when you go to the extended, but let's get back to past me. So pile number two. That's what's going on with your true love in your future spouse. I feel also, I also feel like a very clean energy uh, with your true love in your future spouse. So they might be cleansing themselves from like um, something. We talked about it, right? Cleansing themselves from something. It's kind of like when you um, smell perfume and then you have to cleanse your nose with coffee beans so that you can smell the new scent <laughs> is what I'm being brought to, if that makes sense, okay? Um, but anyway, we're going to go to the extended now. I'm going to look at the timing when you will meet your true love and your future spouse and what kind of energy you will be in or what kind of energy is going to be around you around that time. So if you are interested in that, the link is down in the description box, pile number two. And if not, thank you for being here. Um, thank you for listening to me. I'm going to see you in my next one and I wish you a lovely day. Bye. 
hello my beautiful pal number three i'm a little bit hyped because of pal number two's extended i'm not gonna lie <laughs> um but anyway let me first of all welcome you guys to your reading so as you can tell by the title we're gonna do kind of like an energy check in where is your future spouse what is he or she doing what are they thinking what are they going through maybe lessons that they currently learn um, epiphanies that they come to basically what's happening with them like their energy what kind of energy they're in um if it sounds like you it is because you and your future spouse you guys are very similar kind of like birds of the same feather flock together that kind of concept um where they understand your language and you, you understand their language which also means you go through the same things if that makes sense right um or similar things maybe just in a different town with different people different characters but the course the same that you go through similar energies similar circumstances i'm also going to extend this reading on patreon in case you are interested which is the reason why i was so hyped because in pile number two yeah anyway oh i'm a little bit like excited right now um but anyway so we're going to look at the timing um it's like a general kind of like timing where you can expect to meet your true love and your future stars but i'm going to talk more about that on patreon the link is down in the description box and i'm also going to look at what kind of energy you're going to be in as you meet your true love in your future spouse so if you want to know the timing again um it's kind of like a time frame because i don't want you guys to obsess over the timing but to just have it in the back of your mind as like information that you need at a later point in time but not right now if that makes sense it's kind of like a, a notice do you say a notice letter like a notice you know i don't know how you call it i think a notice letter um or just in your notes where you have it in your notes but you use it when it is appropriate if that makes sense to not obsess over it anyway let's begin your reading let's look at what your true love and your future spouse is going through what is happening with them let me tap in guys give me a moment I'm hearing, I'm like a firecracker, I make it hot when I put on a show. Mm -hmm. It's called Circus by Britney Spears. And in the song she says, there's two types of people in the world. The ones that entertain and the ones that observe. Observe. <laughs> oh, that was, <laughs> sorry guys for torturing you with my, you know, singing. Um, what is happening with your future spouse? Let me tell you something. Um, I feel like they're working on something big. I'm not gonna lie. I see them having a master plan. Your true love and your future spouse, they currently have like a... I'm seeing them writing things down. Dates, um, deadlines, dates where they need to achieve something kind of like where they want to achieve something within two months so they write it down or i'm seeing 30 day challenges i'm seeing um like mind maps i'm seeing them preparing presentations i'm seeing them because with the queen of wands yeah let me show you the card she is working on a big project it literally looks like she's building a house um so i feel like your true love and if you just is currently building like a big legacy this definitely to me feels like a, an entrepreneur energy um if i could describe it to me this feels like you would be the pal where i most likely would think that your true love and your future spouse either has multiple sources of income meaning that they have to be if they could they would multiply themselves to be at different in different places all at once um because they have multiple sources of income that they have to take care of so this is a person who would need more than 24 hours in a day to get everything done um this could also be a person who is currently working on multiple sources of income or they have multiple projects at least more than one um they are currently a busy bee they are a busy bee they work on multiple projects they have they work on multiple sources of income even if they have a day job, they might also have a night job. Or even if they have a day job, they also have like a side hustle. So they are. this is definitely a busy bee right here. Okay, they're working a lot. They have to really like look at their time schedule to get everything under one 
umbrella or like where they need to organize in order to achieve everything because like every minute counts <laughs> wow <laughs> okay but this is what i'm picking up here they check emails they check this project and then this project and then this project okay um i'm also seeing that they check analytics uh they hold presentations or talk about like how the performance of last week was so this could also be if they don't have their own business they could be like a somebody that has to do more work at their job because they are somewhat of a manager position so they have to like you know give a feedback to the how do you call it to their boss does that make sense and that's why i'm seeing the whole presentation and preparing and stuff like that um so i pick up an energy where they are either a part of a big production they could be part of like a movie production they could be part of like a big organization they could actually for some of you guys if it's not listen to me this is going to be different for everybody if they're not a business owner and if they're not part of a bigger project they could literally work in instruction if that makes sense okay they could be an architect okay they could be for example <coughs> excuse me they could be designing um you know like uh, they're they could be drawing stuff for a bigger company they could be creating art for a bigger company they could be creating music for a bigger company um they could be creating content pictures for a bigger company um but they could also be literally like a construction worker where they literally are currently like building a hotel a mall um do you know what i mean this is what i'm being brought to and if not they're somehow involved in this like they're involved in building a hotel building a restaurant um, if it's not their own business they're somehow involved they could be a co-founder of something or they could be involved where their skills are needed like they could be the accountant of a bigger person or um <clears throat> again they could be like the social media manager of i don't know a brand or whatever or they could be um they could be part of like a big hotel being built a mall being built um an office like a startup i'm also being brought to a startup um but i'm hearing they're definitely working on like a bigger project may that be like literally as an architect and construction worker and um, as somebody who's just helping with this project or they're literally like a co-founder or they could have their own business and they're basically building their own business right now to become bigger and bigger and bigger they're basically expanding their business in case they do own a business but your man your woman is a busy bee let me say it like that they are a busy bee and <laughs> you know what i'm seeing here i'm literally seeing them i feel like they are in a routine or something about where they have a very strict routine um, or they have like a strict time schedule um because they need to kind of like i'm hearing they need to deliver or i don't know what this is but with the hierophant here yeah okay they could also be changing something about their routine which i talked about in panel number one so there could be a connection but um i just want you guys to choose one like if you choose um timing just choose one pal but if it talks about information you could choose more than one pal so with the hierophant i'm seeing them here getting up in the morning they pray they meditate they send a prayer out they could actually do manifestation rituals so they do something like when they wake up in the morning they do something they do something before they go to work they do something before they um build these things okay so again i feel like they pray they meditate they manifest they do manifestation techniques or something let me actually see what this is okay but again i feel like they're also like part of something big they're part of like a big project um they work with a big client right now for some of you guys this could even be where they um for some of you guys i even pick up where they recently moved so they're still in the process of decorating their house or there could even be an energy of like getting things fixed in the house renovating their kitchen um changing like i don't know like getting furniture for the living room this is what i'm being brought to do you know where i'm coming from it's kind of like it's a lot of people and it's like a bigger project their new couch is coming so they have to get the couch and then people are installing stuff in their place 
if it's not their own home this could also be again where they own a hotel um, and they have to like fix stuff in the hotel there's something wrong with the light something wrong with the air conditioning so they have to call people to come to fix everything in the hotel um, let me actually see what this is okay so your true love and your future spouse let me tell you something i do feel like they i have a very exciting life or they are about to there's like i'm hearing there's a lot happening but i'm also hearing there's big stuff happening in your future spouse's life right now so again talking about big clients big money big projects big buildings um big purchases big investments like investing big money into something being a co-founder of something big okay um yeah big numbers is also what i'm picking up here i don't know what this is guys okay but they do work with big energy or they do work with big stuff <laughs> okay that sounded ambiguous but you know what i mean okay let me see okay where's the hierophant here can you tell me and i'm seeing them like praying i'm seeing them um meditating i'm seeing them manifesting let me see seven of pentacles wow for some of you guys they're actually like um they're praying wow okay hold on hold on hold on hold on they're praying to somebody that is departed they're praying to somebody they have a grandma grandpa on the other side and they talk to this grandpa or grandma um i'm hearing religiously or like um consistently okay so they pray and they ask their their departed loved one for help okay or they pray to the universe they pray to god please god help me with this <laughs> i'm hearing the song and i talked about it in a different reading if you chose the reading where i talked something about where people think you are insane but then they're proven wrong that you told the truth and you know this is what i was talking about and i talked about the um, song insane by summer walker um but i'm hearing god bless me god help me you know that's what i'm hearing so i feel like that's what they do they ask the universe and god to bless them and help them or they talk to their ancestors is what i'm picking up here why is the hierophant here wow they could be praying for a break oh they could be praying for a breakthrough or they could be pr pr praying they could be praying for a break or they're basically like wow okay listen to me seven of pentacles i feel like your true love and your future spouse is trying to manifest that they can actually take a break from working so hard because if they do work on a big project that takes a lot of energy and if they are self-employed it also takes a lot of energy to be self-employed and to do everything on your own it might be a one-man show or um, there might be somebody there might be like people big people depending on this person so this person cannot fuck up so they maybe do overtime or they work too much but it is because um everything depends on them and they could feel like they need a break so they could be manifesting that they have a breakthrough in their career so that they can actually take a break from working because they feel like they cannot drop the ball right now they need to be focused they need to get everything done there's an energy of like you see that she's like there's a plan and i need to follow this plan this plan has to be executed so they could also feel like the next one or two months they need to really focus to get everything done i feel like an energy where they want to get like a project done again just imagine it's a hotel and there are like the architect and they work with this company that wants to build this hotel so they're very focused on building this hotel on it until it's completely done and finished and then they can actually take a break because the project is finished that's what it feels like to me here so they could be yeah look at that ten of wands in reverse you see this is what i was talking about they wow okay listen they're trying to manifest that they can actually take a break from work okay because they work very very hard right now and they actually wish to take a break from work is what i'm picking up here but i feel like they can yeah so basically they're manifesting their breakthrough at work or they're manifesting a break from work i'm also hearing retirement i'm gonna be very honest where this person is like manifesting being able to retire earlier than usual they don't want to work until 70 so what they do is they work twice the amount than other people now so that they can rest and chill when they're in their 70s does that make sense this is what i'm being brought to 
Now, if we look at the cards, we have here Dolphin. It says financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past, you see. So it's kind of like they're working, 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 working until there's like one day where they have a huge breakthrough. For some of you guys, they are about to have a breakthrough. If you want to know anything about your true love and your future spouse, I feel like they are about to have a huge breakthrough in their career, which then allows them to actually think about other stuff other than work and money and career and this project. Because they're like their whole mind, their whole soul, their spirit is occupied with this project. Because it's, it's like a it's like a big project where you cannot mess up or you cannot allow yourself to mess up or to miss the date or to kind of like um to just take a break whenever you want um, or to be very careful with like but where they they want to take a break but it's like um, it has to be the right timing I don't know what this is it's kind of like when they juggle and um, and they have to like make sure that they catch the ball and stuff like that I don't know what this means okay um, so they have to like focus on it like when you juggle you have to focus right that's what it feels like to me they have to really focus um, but they are about to walk into a financial gain. Okay, so something about their hard work is paying off big time. Where there could be a big amount of money coming to them. They could really go through a huge breakthrough with the Six of Wands. Okay, so I feel like your future spouse is about to shock people or they already shocked people. I feel like your true love and your future spouse achieved the impossible. For example, they always said, oh, I'm going to work with um, big clients, you know. And people said, well, you have to start small, calm the fuck down. And now your future spouse is really working with big clients, like big brands. I don't know, whatever, whoever, okay, where they really work with big clients and big brands. Um, and people are shocked about this, but it's only the beginning of their success story. So they are about to manifest more, even more money, even more success, even bigger opportunities. Um, even more interesting, like where their life is about to become very, very exciting where other people are shocked about what your future spouse experiences because your future spouse is like um they're they're doing something that brings to them that brings more success to them than the ordinary person is what i'm picking up here they do something where they somehow again shock people because they achieve the they make the impossible possible possible or <laughs> or they achieve the impossible or they show people that things are not impossible okay um, I feel like your future spouse is about to be shocked about something that they achieve because if I look at this card I'm literally seeing like an energy here where um, they work 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 you see she's very serious if you look at her facial expression she's very serious about what she's doing she's like no I need to focus on that like this has to this has to get done you know she's very focused she's even wearing her glasses okay <laughs> and then it's like oh my god oh my god you know like because the six of ones always talks about success so i'm also hearing their plan is working out so they're working on a master plan they have a master plan right now the next three months i'm gonna do this the next two months i'm gonna do this the next year i'm gonna do this and whatever their plan was it's working out there's success attached to their plan and then i'm seeing them celebrating with a person in their life they could be like I'm celebrating with their mom, their siblings, their dad, their friends, something about like, oh my god, I finally achieved it, I finally achieved it, it took me one or two years, I'm finally there, I finally achieved it, and then they, um, you know, like, um, how do you call it, they give like a hug to somebody that they're close to, like, oh my god, we did it. I'm also picking up an energy here again, something about um, where they recently moved into a new city, a new town, um, or they recently moved into a house, or... For example, they could have also recently bought property or they bought an apartment or they bought a house. So they have to renovate the house, the house, they have to renovate the apartment. And maybe it's like a bigger project because maybe they chose like a house that needs a lot of work um, or something along those lines. It's something that I'm picking up here as well. Now, what is your future spouse going through? Um, as much as their life is very beautiful on one end, where again, they achieve the impossible, they experience things that other people don't experience because they manifest a lot or they're really good at manifesting or their energy is very big they have a big energy so they attract big people or they attract big experiences like they experience stuff that other people only dream of or don't even think is possible okay now they have a lot of people that love them like their mom is so proud of them 
for being such a you know successful beautiful boy or girl you know where it's like it's i'm hearing i'm hearing something about like um where their mom or their dad is super duper proud of them their siblings are proud of them or maybe like even a friend is so proud like their friend is telling everybody that they're friends with your true love and your future spouse that's how proud they are so they have a lot of people that love them okay they are very adored very admired very appreciated by a lot of people but and i talked about it in a different reading if you chose because i talked about in a different reading where wealth um, or this big energy or you manifesting miracles also comes with a dark side because as much as people are going to love you there's also going to be more haters or more people that don't like you just because you live an extraordinary life or the impossible is happening for you so i do feel like your true love and your spouse also gain they also have a lot more haters or they have a lot more people that want to fuck them up they want to f they have a lot more people that um, work against them or want to fuck them up Okay, so I'm picking up an energy here where your true love and your future spouse has a lot of love. Like they get more love or more admiration than the average person, but they also get more hate um, than the average person, okay? Um, is what I'm picking up here because we have, you need to defend yourself, okay? So I do feel like they're currently going through an energy where they have haters, they have opponents, they have people that want to challenge them. There's definitely a villain in their life. I don't know who it is, but there's definitely a villain or villains in their life. Okay, that want to ruin the plans, that want to come in, that cannot... I'm hearing something about where people cannot take how your future spouse is like the center of attention. And they get jealous. So they have a lot of jealous people around them right now. Um, and I feel like your true love and your future spouse is learning right now because I was asking what is your true love and your future spouse learning. We have the emperor here. It's a boss energy. So your true love and your future spouse is learning to be the boss of their own life or to take control of their own life. But I also pick up an energy here of learning how to keep a calm mind when there's a lot of stuff happening. For example, I'm just going to give an example. It's going to be different for all of you. Just imagine your future spouse is a co-founder of a hotel. They're building a hotel with another person. Now, it's a big project. First of all, it's a question mark if they're going to be successful or not. I mean, they know in their soul they're going to be, but for other people from the outside perspective, people are like, oh, I'm not sure if it's going to work out or not, right? So you have to be a calm individual because if you lose your mind, um, and you just quit because of the unknown you're never going to get there so they're learning to be calm in the midst of chaos or they learn to be calm in the midst of not knowing what is going to happen and um, they learn how to like kind of like follow their feeling or their intuition okay or they're learning to do things that scare other people or mm, not a lot of people are like a lot of people are afraid to do stuff like that, if that makes sense. A lot of people are afraid to invest big money or afraid to become self-employed, run their own business, become a co-founder, um, work on something big, relocate, um, you know, move to a different country where you don't know the language. It's like where well, your true love and your future spouse is doing a lot of things that scare a lot of people. Um, so they 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 have a they have more bravery or they're more courageous than than the average Joe. So they do take bigger risks. Let me tell you something. Your future spouse is somebody who takes bigger risks, but because they take bigger risks, their life becomes extraordinary. So they're they're winning. When they win, they win big. Does that make sense? It's like go hard or go home. So when they, it's like a person who um, puts all the chips in a casino and they actually win. So they put a huge risk, but they also win a huge amount of money that other people would not win because they would never even think about putting all their chips on the table. Does that make sense if I could describe the energy? And I feel like a true love and your future spouse is like learning what the dark side of success is or what is the dark side of running your own business? What is the dark side of working with big people, with big clients? Um, maybe you have to be more careful of shady people. Maybe you have to read the contract twice or three times because, you know, business is very shady. You know what I mean? Kind of like where they enter the business world. Um, so they now realize that, you know, like business people are very shady. So you have to read the contract three times 
um, do you know what I mean? So they have to be extra careful with signing contracts. They have to be extra careful with who they share information with. They have to be extra careful with who they work with. They have to be very like, um, they have to make good decisions with the people that they work with, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's the energy that I pick up here. They're basically learning like to stay cool, calm and collected in the unknown or um, when things are not going right again, for example, in the hotel, there's something leaking, so they have to call somewhere and they have to stay calm in this whole chaos or like um, something about the system, you know, goes down in the in the hotel. They have to fix it, but they cannot lose their head. They have to be clear minded to get this thing running. Does that make sense? That's what it feels like to me here. That's what they're currently learning. OK, and they're also learning that again. Um, they have a lot more haters or a lot more jealousy or a lot more like evil eye on them because they do great in life or because they win big or because of this big opportunity that came to them. So they maybe deal with a lot more hate, a lot more, um, I don't know, people disliking them um, or something about where they get challenged a lot more or people want to challenge this person. I don't know why. Um, can you clarify the five of wands? But again, I'm hearing like the dark side of success, the dark side of wealth, the dark side of popularity, um, the dark side of, I don't know, winning big. Yeah, look at that. We have the seven of swords here. I'm hearing, are you a friend or are you a foe? Okay. So they could, they could have a lot more leeches around them because they are so successful. They could have a lot more gold diggers, leeches and rats untrustworthy people around them because they are on the road to success so again they have to be extra careful with everything that they do with what they post online um the information that they share their name maybe even okay or their location they cannot share that okay or something i'm also hearing where they work with a bigger company and they are only allowed to say they they cannot say everything because in their contract it says that they are not allowed to speak about something i don't know what the fuck this is it's weird i don't know what this is okay so again your future spouses what are they going through right now um they're manifesting big money big projects big clients um building a house buying a house being a co-founder owning a property um working with big people being the favorite of a big person like even in a company they're still the favorite of the boss is what i'm picking up here but it also makes them a target for a lot more jealousy because other people want to be the boss's favorite as well but it's them so they're kind of like the chosen one they could also be the chosen one in their family to bring wealth and money and success to their family but not everybody likes that like they're kind of like the chosen one but you know what i want to say it's not that they're the chosen one they chose this path because people think oh some people are the chosen ones and other people are not no this person chooses that they want to walk this path they choose that they want to be a chosen one if you ask me so we have increase in material wealth uh, or spiritual growth with the goldfish okay so again i feel like your true love and your future spouse is at the brink of um a huge breakthrough with a firecracker Okay, let me actually see. I feel like they are about to like land a big deal, um, have a huge win in real estate in case they do something with real estate. They are about to like um, sell a, um, an art piece that is like a, a worth a lot of money or like their um, their their most expensive like um, statue, furniture piece, clothing is gonna get sold to somebody. Does that make sense where they start to attract big things in their career is what I'm picking up here. And then it's kind of like where they make, I'm hearing they make money moves or they make big moves, but because they make big moves, big money comes to them and they make even bigger moves, if that makes sense. That's what I'm being brought to. Or they make big moves that take a lot of risks, but then they end up like in a really beautiful place, like with a sea view or... I don't know, like mm, traveling for work or getting VIP tickets for something. I don't know what this is. Let me see. The breakthrough that is coming to pile number three is true love in future spouse. When will it come? Is there a timing? I don't know if this card wanted to come out. It says Monday. Swap ideas, seek advice. 
the success that is coming to pile number three is true love and future spouse when is it coming or what is happening here wow you see it says it will work out soon literally it says three days three weeks so this person your true love and your future spouse is about to go through a big breakthrough um they're about to like win big may that be money getting a huge job a huge client winning big money um getting chosen for something an acting role um a music production a commercial um getting chosen in the casting i don't know what this is but it's big okay so this is going to happen within three days to three weeks is your tr your trade-off and your future spouse is about to rise to success that's what i'm picking up here big time let me just get one last card here why is the six of wands here what is that energy about i'm hearing they're about to sit pretty but they have been working their fucking ass off it's like a person who works if i could describe the energy okay let me explain the energy just imagine someone working an eight hour shift and they were not allowed to sit so they're standing all the time and then them winning them succeeding means that they can finally sit on the fucking chair after eight hours but these eight hours were eight weeks these eight hours energetically speaking were two years does that make sense they have been working 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 until they can finally sit their ass down or sit down that's what it feels like to me which is the reason why they're trying to manifest like a breakthrough or that they can actually take a break and take a breather and i feel like um that could also be connected to you meeting your true love and your future spouse okay um yeah two of pentacles you see wow okay listen to me this is not going to resonate for everybody okay so i'm picking up the energy where your true love and your future spouse maybe has like again multiple sources of income multiple jobs and i almost want to say for some of you guys they're manifesting that they are able to only have one job instead of two because that one job is like taking off or their business is taking off so they don't have to work their normal job anymore or they get a bigger position in their company they get a job promotion that is big or it's like a big change in their salary so they have can they can give up the second job they could literally be working on multiple sources of income they just they don't just want to have one source of income they want to have multiple ones i'm seeing four two to four like four sources of income like two they at least have two but they could also have three or four or they could be walking into the third or the fourth source of income i'm going to be very honest here okay where their money comes from mm, different streams from different directions so i feel like they're gonna be because i was asking where is the success coming i feel like there's something about where they manifest that all of their sources of income become successful. So if they have four sources of income, they're all going great. They're all, I'm hearing bawling. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that. But it's like all their four sources of income are doing great. There's a lot of money manifesting in all four sources of income. If they have two sources of income, both are going to bring big money to them. Because if we look at this card, he's literally trying to save money. Okay, so your true love and your future spouse could also be manifesting a huge milestone when it comes to how much money they want to like put in their savings account. Um, they could also want to like buy a car with this money or their dream car. That's why they put so much work into what they do so that they put the money away. So they're about to achieve like some big milestone when it comes to their savings account. Why is the six of wands here? Why is the six of wands here? Five of pentacles, yeah. For some of you guys, this is literally the breakthrough from poverty to wealth or from poverty to living abundantly. For some of you guys, this is also definitely having enough money to purchase your dream house, your dream apartment. Because every time I look at the five of pentacles, I'm looking at the house here. And again, for others of you, this is about like where they manifest their transition from, I wouldn't even say poverty, it could be, or maybe there was a long history of poverty in their family and they're the first one to bring wealth to the family. So they're basically like breaking the generational pattern of poverty. They're the first one in the family to bring huge amounts of money into the family. Okay. Or they could achieve... They could be the one that is achieving the most in their family is basically what I'm trying to say. That's the six of wands here. Yeah. I'm also hearing something about they're gonna get an award or they're gonna get honored. What the heck is what the heck is that? It's kind of like if I could describe the energy, it's kind of like where 
you get like a YouTube play button, it's an award or there could be an energy where you win a prize at a film thingy majigger like where they submit their video or their um, photography and they actually win the prize but it also it doesn't only come with the press but it also comes with exposure because now their name is mentioned in a newspaper in an article does that make sense i feel like that's the energy that i pick up here um this could also be about where yeah where they get mentioned by a big company or um, for example they have a website and they are about to work with a big company so that they can put like their um how do you say that like the feedback of the company like if they work with like i don't know times magazine then they can put on their website that they work with times magazine does that make sense so it makes their website more there's more worth okay i'm hearing net worth but i'm hearing there's more worth to their business because they work with this big person if that makes sense or something about an award or a prize or they are about to win something okay i heard just probably for one person they could also win the lottery <laughs> i don't know this could be metaphorically speaking where they win the lottery because i don't know maybe they put money into bitcoin and it works out or maybe they i don't know go to a casino i don't know what the heck this is about okay i don't know what this is but they maybe invested into something it was like a question mark if it's going to work out but they are about to hit the jackpot because it does work out according to plan literally i'm hearing their plan is working out and people said you must be crazy your plan is never going to work out but it is going to work out literally i'm seeing it here okay let me see um where's the six of one see one last card um this is a rags to riches story this is a story from having nothing to having everything or making everything or making something out of nothing or um yeah something along those lines or your talent brought you all of that like it started with your voice it started with your poem it started with your idea and it becomes something huge we talked about it right queen of pentacles they might start to work with big people or they are literally becoming somebody big here okay yeah for some of you guys they could actually become famous i'm not gonna lie this is not gonna be for everybody and their mama <laughs> But with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, this could be some type of fame. There could be walking into some type of fame. They could be starting to get recognized on the street. I'm not gonna lie. Um, they could be actually getting the attention of somebody who does get recognized on the street. Does that make sense? So, um, I don't know. It's like a singer. It's, it reminds me of the um, it reminds me of the story with Big Sean, how he actually came to success because he was like um, going to the studio where Kanye West was producing his music and he was like getting on Kanye West's nerves and gave him his tape or his music or something along those lines. This is what I'm being brought to where you, there could also be an energy and Penelope, if you're watching, <laughs> I see you, um, but I'm picking up the energy of like, um, walking into somebody, walking into like a famous person or bumping into a famous person here and they might actually like um, get the attention of a famous person. I don't know what this means, okay? This could be a famous fashion designer, a famous music producer, a famous journalist, um, a famous YouTuber, um, a famous whatever, whoever, okay? They attract big things, big money, big things adventures lifetime lifetime adventures where you look back and you're like oh my fucking god my life was fucking amazing i'm gonna be very honest here okay so pound number three i'm gonna extend this reading now on patreon so if you want to know about the timing when you will meet your true love in your future spouse um join me on patreon the link is down in the description box um if not oh by the way we're also going to look at what kind of energy you will be in what kind of what are you going to feel what is happening in your life the energy that you're going to feel in your body and in your soul um yeah what are you going to feel when you meet your true love in your future spouse as you are meeting them so if you are interested in that um i'm gonna see you there guys okay so <laughs> thank you for being here bye